Hey, it's Professor Wilbur from dragondropcode.com. In the previous video, I showed you an app um, to just, you know, you, you are the best. click on a button that says you are the best. And you also the best. every four seconds, it says you are the best. Uh, what I want to talk about you right now is, is coding grammar. So you need to learn the terminology of coding. You know, one, so you can talk to people about it as you're building apps, but also if you switch to another coding language, you can take everything you learn. You know, we're learning with Thunkable, but you can take it, with you when you learn that other language. So the terminology we've got going here is we've got an app. It's a simple one, um, but an app, the fundamental thing inside it are event handlers. And they're these wind blocks, right? When something happens, what does the app do? And if you look at this little diagram, you can see, okay, an app is made up of event handlers. When event one, event two, event three, and it, within each event, you could have a sequence of operations. Both my simple event handlers for this sample app, there's only one operation in here, but you could have a whole bunch of them, right? You could do 10 different things. Um, okay, so anyway, we call button.click or timer.fires. Those guys are called events. Think of them as external events. And then whatever's inside the yellow block, we call the response. So think, you know, it's like a stimulus response, an event response, and that's the fundamental thing of an app um, is that event response. Uh, you know, a couple other things. This purple say block is called a function call block. Okay, and, and function call means invoke something, like tell the phone to do something. In this case, we're telling it to say something with text to speech. Um, so say is the function name. And then if you look over, you know, there's, there's a couple slots here. You could put whatever you want in those slots. Uh, they're called parameters. Okay. The first parameter is what to say. And the second parameter is actually what language to use that, um, uh, to talk it in that language. It's, it's not going to translate it, but it's just the person's going to say it with, with that kind of tone. Um, so anyway, parameters, so a function is like say, and every function or some functions have, you know, zero or more parameters. In this case, say has two, two parameters. And I can switch this. I did want to say, notice there's a red block here. So you can, you can actually grab red text blocks. Um, and in this case, I'll just grab one. And I can drag one out and I can put whatever I want in here. You know, I could put hello and I can just replace that default pink block with, with hello. Okay, so don't get weird. You know, the, when, when you bring out a say block, the default thing inside here is pink, um, but you can put a red block over it and, and put whatever you want. But you can actually just type right here and change, change, change that as, as well. Um, okay, so anyway, these guys are called parameters. Um, the whole thing's called an event handler button.click is, is an event. Um, and inside it, you've got a sequence of operations. Um, in this case, we get a function call, which has two parameters. Okay, one last thing I want to say is inside an event handler, these operations, they're usually you know, often function calls, but there's one other type of thing you can do. And it's called a set block. It means let's change some memory, or let's change a property on one of our components. So I'll just give you an example. I'm gonna change the button's text. So I'm gonna set, set means change. I'm gonna set button's text to X, Y, Z. Okay, so when the user clicks the button, I am gonna say, now I'm gonna say hello, but I'm gonna change the button to X, Y, Z. And this is called a set block. It's, it's an operation, um, but it's not a function call. Okay, so I'm gonna run the previewer and when i click on say it hello it says hello, hello but you'll there. notice the text on top of the block changed xyz hello there okay anyway quick kind of grammar you're going to learn more as, as we go through these these tutorials i did want to bring up drag and drop uh the thunkable book is you know if you want to learn coding and you know so not only just to build apps but to, to kind of progress and learn how to code I really encourage you to get this book and it, it goes over all this grammar and it also kind of gives you the samples in detail um, so you can build stuff and also get the language. And I think it helps to read it 
um, as well as you know, hear me talk about it. And I think you can really, really progress very, very quickly. So get the Thunkable book.